welcome to Thriftwood, which is also, coincidentally, the home of the largest ant colony in the world. Or at least that's what it felt like last night when I cycled here after a really, really hard day yesterday. I don't know if you noticed, but it was pretty hot. Um, I had a lovely morning um, writing my newsletter, but um, in a really shady wood where I stayed last night. Not last night, the night before last. And uh, But really, that was time that I probably should have been cycling. Like that guy. Um, so it was after 11 by the time I left, and yeah, straight into a heat wave. Um, but even then, the morning was really nice. Um, met uh, a lovely family who stopped and helped me through uh, a gate that was too <laughs> narrow for my bike. Um, and then, yeah, just a blistering, blistering couple of hours cycle along the um, estuary nature reserve path. You can see me scratching because these ants bite. It's flying ant season and they do not like me. <laughs> um, uh, but I came across uh, the graveyard of lost species, which is an artwork along the estuary, which um, I'm going to put together a little video about. So you can expect that in the next three to seven weeks. <laughs> uh, yeah, really tough day and then um, hit Leon C and lots of people, lots of traffic, still very hot. South End on Sea, even worse. And what was really bad was the uh, sea gradually receding away into the distance. So I had to make do with a cold shower <laughs> um, at Shoebury Ness. But today I face the troubles of horses. Morning. How's it going? Um, it's been quiet all morning, and now, like the buses, they all come at once. Um, it's good background, though, don't you think? Um, so yeah, so today I face a race, just as I did nine years ago to catch the Harwich to Felixstowe ferry. The last ferry is at. 10 past 4 and I only just made it last time so this time starting approximately 3 hours later for some reason I feel like I'm not going to make it but that's fine um, I'll just camp this side of the Harwich Ferry if I don't make it um, but first stop Maldon where I am very excited about uh, seeing some of the sights that I enjoyed last time I remember stopping at a cafe um, and having a large breakfast. It was a rainy day, very the opposite of today. Uh, taking a miserable photo of the church tower there, which apparently is unique for its, uh, I think, octagonal shape. Uh, and going into a hotel to use their toilet. Uh, so that's what I learned about Malden last time I was there. I think this time round, if the rest of this trip is anything to go by, it will be a lot more interesting. <laughs> Over and out. <laughs> 